Okay, we just talked about the worst team in this division last video, and now we're going to talk about uh, the Knoxville Kecleons coached by Jacob. Uh, Jacob has drafted a Galer Galerian, Gigantamax Blastoise, uh, Clefairy, Snorlax, Toga Damaru, Musharna, Ice U, Toxicroak, Chandelure, Scolipede, and Indeedy, the boy version. And we'll go ahead and start off with Bulk, Stuart, Jaden. How are y'all feeling? Um, yeah, so the problem with the bulky mons in this team is they don't have a ton of recovery, right? Like, I'm sure Michelle gets recover, but, you know, the any recovery stops them from being out and out wars. But they've all got natural bulk, like Blastoise is bulky, Snorlax is bulky, Clefairy with an Eevee Light is bulky, Tiger Tomorrow's got a steel type, so that's handy. Bashana's bulky, but I don't go, oh, look, there's a scary mon that I can't kill. Mm -hmm. What are yeah. you, Jaden? Um, is it Jaden or Joe? Jaden. Oh, Jaden. Um, no, I agree. I agree with you there. Um, and I think the only thing I would add is that Clefairy gets that friend guard ability, which means that a lot of the damage you output on his first one will get, will cop a little bit less of um, damage overall. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, so while you look at it and think, oh, you know, these aren't particularly bulky Pokemon, if you have the fairy out, and I believe the fairy gets, um, gets either Moonlight or Soft Wheel, it, it, or and Life you as well, I think, I think it, it does become a little bit more bulky than what, than what, you, first, than what you first think. Yeah, I like this team. Uh, I like the Snorlax. I like Toga tomorrow. Uh, I like Indeedy, and of course Blastoise is always a threat, it's, and kind of bulky if you build it correctly. And of course I love Clefairy, uh, first draft I didn't really get to draft it. And um, I don't know, I gave him a 6, uh, a, along with what Stuart said, there's not a lot of recovery, but he still has the friend guard ability to boost his team a little bit. Yeah, I'm at 6 too. Ooh, I went eight. I, I, I think I, he's gonna actually... Like, I get the friend guard ability, but then Clefairy has to be on the field. He's there. I think he's got options for bulk. Mm -hmm. um, Clefairy's got that Violet bulk. Snorlax is bulky. You know, you can G-Max and Blast when you get double your health, which is good. Um, ESU is not bulky, but it can really hit. So Damaru is sturdy. Um, Michelle is naturally bulky. I think he just got good options, and I think he's certainly helped by um, Life Dew on Clefairy and the Friend Guard ability. Yeah, I can see that. All right, well, that brings us to the speed tier. How do y'all feel about the speed tier on this team? I gave it a 7. I don't like it that much, but he does have some mods that could uh, abuse... I mean, I think that's a reasonable mix of speed tiers, which is why I gave this 7. But there's nothing out and out fast until Scolopede gets going, or Blastoise gets going. But, you know, Token Amaru's nuzzle can fix that, and, you know, he might run, want to run a slow team with Trick Room or something along those lines. I just don't so, see... Well, uh, outside of Musharna, I guess that's his Trick Room. Maybe he is going for a Trick Room team, because... Just looking at his team, it's, it's just hard to see where he wants to go speedway. Um, I went a five for speed. I'm not a big fan of his speed at all. Um, I think he's sort of like, it's like it just sort of doesn't really do too much. Like he got a lot of, it, but some of the things I initially had him at a four, but then I saw you know you got Toga Tamaru, you got Fake Out Support, you got Sucker Punch on Toxic Croak. Um, indeed, he can control opposing priority moves. Like he also, he's also hindering his own, hindering his own priority moves. Um, and as Stuart was just saying, it's um, not like anything in particular is fast at his team to, unless you know, Scolopede sets up or do that fast goes with his shell smash off. Um, I just think that there's 
And like, there's nothing in, in his team that actually gets access to a Max Erstery. Um, I've looked up before, um, ESP doesn't get a flying type move. Um, I don't think Blaster gets a flying type move. I'll back check myself as I'm talking. But I also no, don't Blastoise think doesn't. that. I assumed, um, sorry, Toxic Croak doesn't. I thought he had, might have got Aerial Ace, but he doesn't. I just don't know where the speed boosts are coming from. Like, he, what uh, you see is what, it, it's a matter of what you see yeah. is what you get. There's no surprises here. There's no, no, no. speed boosts available. Um, which I mean, be quite problematic uh, for him. Yeah, I mean, Mishana Snorlax is a genuine trick room mode. Like, I think you can generally bring it as a trick room setup. Yeah. Snorlax can do something next to the ferry maybe or something but yeah you're right there's something fast but i think coming down the other way is a possibility too maybe, going, maybe going maybe intentionally slow i could see maybe a lot a of option. i could see a lot of clefairy scolopy leads where he tries to like get a follow me sword stance up and then yeah. advantage the speed there mm, maybe he tries to clean up with uh curse snorlax and lucarna well maybe he runs um <clears throat> Oh, what's it? King's Rock on Scolipede. Uh, friend, oh, sorry, follow me on Clefairy to redirect attacks. And then he'll just try and, every turn, he'll just use Rock Slide to try and get a flinch off. Like, boost yeah. flinches. That's I don't cool. think they stack. I'm sure they stack. I don't they think stack? King's Rock stack. I don't think there has to be moves that don't normally flinch. Ooh. I could be wrong. I've always thought it's that if it's wrong, I've always thought it's like that. <laughs> so I, I've always been wrong. I know it was like I'm that in sure. seven. I don't know if it's still like it. Because things, you know how things change. I always thought things were stacked with everything. I think it stacks with Serene Grace, but I don't think it stacks with moves that already flinch. We'll take that on note. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Two, seven, two sevens and a five for that one. Uh, wall breaking? You just went over that? I mean, as with your team, Joe, the biggest threat is the G-Max mod, right? Like, Shell Smash, G-Max Blast Toys is a huge threat. Mm -hmm. If he gets a Shell Smash off, it's going to do some damage. Even without a Smash, if he gets a Cannonade off, it's going to do that chip damage, which makes socking set up for the rest of the team. Um... If you get it in at the right time, you can be up. You can be up six two before you know it. Because if it just hit hit those um, max waters and max cannonades and mess you up. That's very true. Uh, that, I mean, that's why I drafted it. I mean, chip damage in doubles is huge, especially against teams that don't have reliable recovery. And uh, G Max Blastoise could take advantage of that same situation as well. Um. Um, other than not, Blastoise, yeah. the only other one I see is maybe Scolipede and maybe Ndidi, since it is more offensive than the female. Yeah, unless he works out a way to get Belly Drum Mask you off. I don't know. If uh, Blastoise might do a max hail and then Mask you goes away, it does some things, but... There's no there's no Dragon on this team, which I noticed, and that could be an issue. Because I think Dragons are, you know, obviously they're one of the best types, so... Not having one could be a minus, but yeah. Yeah, I, I gave him a seven in wall breaking just because, like like you said, uh, there's some there's he has two immediate uh, wall breakers, <clears throat> but the other ones need a lot of setup to get going. And uh, setup yeah. like belly drum is very situational. Yeah, no, I gave him a seven as well, and I don't, and I think. You don't really get not a lot of opportunities to get up belly drum. Um, if you do, you're really giving yourself open to get absolutely thrash. Mm -hmm. um, like you, you gotta remember there's spread moves as well. Like you, you, even if you're not double targeting a Pokemon, you've got spread moves that will uh, will do can do a lot of damage. And Ice Face doesn't block special moves, so. He could just get caught out on the um, on the receiving end of a dazzling gleam, and that could be curtains for him. Um, but I gave him a seven as well because Dmax Blastoise is going to do a lot of heavy lifting, 
Um, and Beauty Mail can do some damage as well. It, it's as fast as Tapalele, it's got its eye conserving with the um, very powerful expanding force. So it can do some stuff. It just, I just don't know that there's going to be enough juice in the tank to get into that um, finals place. Mm -hmm. All right, and that brings us to uh, recovery and support. Uh, give him another seven. Uh, he doesn't have much recovery options outside of Clefairy and Didi and I think Musharna. I'm not sure if Musharna gets wish passing ability or stuff like that. But I know Ndidi and Clefairy do. Um, Musharna and Ndidi can be trick room capable. But there's nothing really to help with B tier outside of that. But at 95 space speed, you don't really want Ndidi to be running trick room. Mm -hmm. You want it to be fast. And then, uh,. I mean, Clefairy is basically all of his support all in one. So he's really relying on Clefairy to really help the team big time. Mm. Yeah, and I agree with that. I think I gave, gave the same mark. He said seven, right? Yeah, seven. Yeah, I said seven too. Um, I also I went there's, seven. There's options there. I think he's overly reliant on Clefairy. He's got other options like Trickman on Mashana. He's got, you know... Um, he might be able to get a helping hand off from the fairy as well. Helping hand off. I mean, Toga Damari might get a helping hand too, which can help which can help boost those wall breaker potentials. Um, but I think the fairy's going to be spending a lot of time trying to heal with light you. I think this, yeah, I think this team has real problems against spread moves. Um, you know, moves like Rock Slide are going to destroy this team. I definitely agree with it. Like Scalping, Chandler, Ice Q, like even Mons that resist it are going to get hurt over time, especially if they flinch. So, yeah, and yeah, this, so I was about to say because attack. they're slow, the flinching is a big deal. Yeah. It's a good thing I drafted all the rock slide capable over once. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. All right, and that brings us to uh, Team Synergy. I give him a seven again. I, I know. This team could work. It just he's gonna really have to work to get it there. Hmm. Yeah, I pretty much said the same thing. I gave it a seven for the reason that the key for the opponent is gonna be running through the team before Blastoise can set up. If Blastoise is the only one left, then it's not gonna be as big of a threat, right? So if you can kill everyone else and leave Blastoise by himself, that's that's how you're gonna win. If you let Blastoise get away and you're too worried about the other mons though. That's when you're getting into trouble. So it's going to be a toss up on what you focus on as the opponent. So, in that respect, you know, how is he going to get Blastoise set up? It's going to be the main thing in each game. Yeah, and that's where I feel he can uh, make it work in his, uh, what's it called? In his favor. Uh, he can uh, play mind games with that first turn that uh, Blastoise is out. Like, am I going to shell smash? Am I going to G Max right away? And uh, similarly with uh, Snorlax as well, if he wants to go that route. Well, another thing he could do as well, and this is, I think this is probably, looking at his team, a little bit counterintuitive. But he could, he could run a, um, a follow me set on Blastoise. Like, run, come off a bit more defensive. Um, like, run like follow, especially run follow defensive. Me. Yeah, and then like, you know, use um, Snorlax to Dynamax, because that would be a really, really potent, um, you know, a, a potent max strike, making everything slower on the, on the opposite team. Like, that could be an option too. Like, he's got options there. I, just, I, I think, um, maybe we're not seeing what we, like he's seeing. Um, in the, I think he's got some options there. I'm not sure how great those options are. Um, I think, um, it'd be interesting to sort of see how he goes. I think, overall, I don't think he'll get to the finals, but I think he'll probably get in like he'll get he'll win a couple of games. Yeah, I can see that. I, I gave him a six synergy as well. Well you hear that Jacob? We're 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 here for you to prove us wrong. Uh the final score I gave him was thirty four. Same. Um sorry it's out of line. 
<clears throat> what was your? Thirty-three. Okay. Ooh. Thank you. All right, and that's gonna bring us to the next team. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get that one started. 